Hello, I'm Brian Walsh from the Space Weather Center at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Welcome to this week's Space Weather Report for April 11th through 17th. This week there was an increase in space weather activity over what we've seen in the last few weeks. We saw one M-class flare, two O-type CMEs, and four C-type CMEs. The action kicked off on April 12th when the Earth became magnetically connected to a region on the Sun that was pumping out wind at about twice as fast as normal conditions. The faster wind pushes harder on the Earth's magnetic field, which resulted in a weak geomagnetic storm at the Earth. This movie shows a model of the enhanced activity. The electron radiation levels in the near-Earth environment were slightly enhanced for these several days. Also, the Kp index, a measure of geomagnetic activity, reached an enhanced level of 5 on a scale from 0 to 9. Now let's look at the major storms of the week. All the activity was away from the Earth in the direction of Stereo B and Spitzer spacecraft. First, on April 15th, an O-type CME traveling at 2.2 million miles per hour left the Sun. As can be seen from the predicted path here, the CME was fairly narrow. The next day, at the same location, now referred to as Active Region 1461, we saw the strongest flare of the week. A short time after the flare, a beautiful prominence erupted and was imaged by SDO. All of this activity was on the left side of the Sun, also referred to as the Eastern Limb. The prominence eruption resulted in O-type CME traveling at 2.8 million miles per hour. As you can see in the simulation, this CME was more broad than the one on the previous day, and impact was predicted for Stereo B, Venus, and Mars. Although there are several active regions currently in the Earth-facing disk, this flare prediction model shows that strong activity is not likely. Follow us on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter for more updates. This has been the weekly space weather report from NASA Goddard Space Weather Center. Thanks for watching. All of the data in this video is accessible from our integrated space weather analysis system located at iswa.gsfc.nasa.gov. Thank you for watching.